<laughs> That's beautiful. Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Manables, and welcome back to a Let's Game It Out reaction. Every week, I like to do one gaming video because I love gaming. It's in my core, and I love reacting to videos since I don't want to do my own playthroughs yet because it's a lot of work for uh, not a lot of payoff currently. But maybe we'll get there when we get there. We'll see how it goes. Otherwise, I have been loving Let's Game It Out. This dude has a lot of satisfactory videos, and he's got some Raph videos, which I'm excited to get to once we get to this, and if people want to see more Raph stuff, because I love both of those games, and then maybe after that, we'll dig into all of his other stuff. But we have a lot of this talented creator. Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going? Check out this thing. I greatly appreciate it. I love the lighting that this extra little thing gives off here. But let's see, uh, let's see what Josh is up to. Let's see. I crippled the game more than ever before using a new nightmare construction. That's Josh. Hey there, this is Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Oh boy, it's time for more Satisfactory. Here's a quick recap. Satis- Oh god. Here, let's, uh, what is this quality? What are we, cavemen? Satisfactory is a beautiful game where you get to build efficient factories, or in my case, the total opposite of that. First I built this conveyor belt system, and then I built it again, bigger and in the air. Then we yep. built a tornado version of this, where yeah. if you look directly at it, it destroys your frame rate. And then yeah. after that, we set a new record in inefficiency and built the conveyor weave. For the record, Dude, all of these machines- The weave- I'm t I said it last time, I'll say it again. The, the amount of patience this man has is incredible. Machines work. Like, the weave here is supposed to deliver coal, and it totally does that. But I've timed it, and it takes about three hours to do what could be done in about 30 seconds. Oh, and I did get a couple of people asking in the comments how long it took to build the weave. The answer there is about five hours. So I guess I should have said that other people are out there. Actually... It's a lot shorter than I thought it was. They're making awesome, efficient factories, and we're just making abomination after abomination over here. And also, I had a couple people that were very disappointed that I had all six of my coal factories in, like, a line like this, all orderly. They want me to do it a little more chaotic, so we're gonna fix that right now. Okay. Here he goes. Is this what you wanted? Is this a... <laughs> it's, it's what they wanted. Better configuration for the coal generators. I call it the coal generator tree. All right, so with that out of the way, let's... It's, it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and handle some of the other duties here. We have tiers five and tier six. Yeah. Each one of these has a milestone cost that we have to fulfill. The good news is that because it took this weave so freaking long to make, I actually have all the materials already. For I didn't think about that either. Example. The dude doesn't even have to, like, idle the game to get the shit he needs. Because I've done that sometimes. I've left it on for, like, an hour or two. I'm like, all right, go gather your resource. I'm going to go get a coffee and come back, and I've got the things I needed. But if you're building for five hours, you got that shit done. Motors are a big thing we're going to need. We have motors, really, for the rest of our lives. So here you go, oil processing. Take all these supplies and launch. For reasons unknown to me, because I probably just didn't pay attention, every time you achieve a milestone, it launches stuff into space. I like to believe we're just paying homage to the sky gods. And industrial manufacturing needs a quick bunch of resources. And then we just go ahead and slam that launch button. Tier 6, I'm going to have to figure out how to make a couple of these things. I've never made a heavy modular frame before. Or a computer, actually. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't think I made a computer either. Did I never make it that far? I always make it to the, like this. I always make it like a little bit farther each time, and then I stop. My most recent base is my most impressive. Just because it's, <laughs> I put a lot of time into that one but also I still can never make it to endgame. Building a computer requires us to build some stuff we've never built before, including circuit boards and plastic. Plastic looks like it's gonna require oil, but that's cool, because now we have access to the oil pump and oil refinery. These require those heavy modular frame things, which here they are. I have all this stuff, actually. I've got the modular frames for sure. I've got tons of steel pipe. Encased industrial beam. Well, would you look at this? These encased industrial beams are so easy to make and I have so many supplies. I'm just gonna make them by hand. You're welcome. God, I'm just over here crafting stuff for these modular frames and I just kind of look over and I see this and I'm like oh what's happening over here oh it's just my power plants no big deal okay so I made my heavy modular there's, there's something that you could do with power plant with the name of that there it's just their frames that didn't take too long to make them by hand let's go see if we can find some oil which we can scan for now ta-da all we need to do is wait for the thing to return with um uh oh god is there no oil anywhere where's that dinosaur blood I need it ah there we go <laughs> That's so relatable. Oh my god, I forgot. Like, sometimes when you have to wait, like, 10 seconds, you're like, shit, do I need to go somewhere else? And then, bing, 3,000 miles elsewhere. Only a mere 2,000 meters away. If I convert that from the metric system, I'm pretty sure that means it's only about 300 miles away. So this should pass by real- Wait, what is this? Wow. Yeah, I don't know why we don't use the metric system. This journey is already amazing. Doesn't it look kind of like that S that we all drew in middle school? Pick yeah. up, Sommer, Sloop, work in progress. Oh, I, I always pick those up. I never did anything with them. I don't know if you can now. That's what I like to see. Of course I'm going to collect it. Strange alien thing with a mind bending and somehow familiar shape. Analyzing this will not give you anything. Well, then I'm going to hold on to it and give it to somebody for Valentine's Day. <laughs> We're going into some weird exotic places. 
very sweet. It's now on the way to find, oh, this looks, uh, this looks dangerous. I don't know if I was really prepared for all this, but we're gonna do it anyway. Isn't there something I can, like, eat around here? What's this? Oh, cool. It's like a bacon mushroom. Nummy, nummy, num. Don't mind me, nature. I'm, I'm surprised you can't replant those and make, like, a little farm for food. Can you not make a farm for food in this game? I feel like that would be, like, one of the first creations that you can make so you can stay alive. No? I'm just coming through. I would also love a version of this game, kind of like, uh, just a, a small rant. Like if, uh, what's that game called? Oh my god, where it's a top-down view and you have to build to survive. It's not Terraria. It's the, uh, oh my god, I'm losing my mind. With the turrets and you, you build things and it's automation. Oh my, Factorio. If this was a first-person Factorio too, I would be a... I wouldn't ever get off this game. Throw on my way to extract oil. You don't mind. Because like, it's fun to build and automate things, but when, you're, when you get a tower defense, I love, I love me some tower defense. Mind if I build an elaborate conveyor belt system in here later, do you? Wow, this is quite the treacherous journey to get oil. Why does all of nature want to kill me? Good God, this is the direction to the oil? How is this the same planet I was just on? Well, I did it, we're here. I found the oil site. I'm just gonna walk around in it for a while to show my victory against nature. Okay, well, this oil isn't just for looking at. Let's build something. Just go ahead and put this. And we have ourselves an oil pump. I feel like I'm ruining the environment already. Oh, crap, power. These are things I didn't think about. About. Wait a minute, does this stuff all just come out on a conveyor belt? Well, I'm not against running a conveyor belt all the way back home. I think we know what we need to do, and that's start- A Mark III? You can run a Mark III all the way home? Building the conveyor belt. Not even intelligently, we're just gonna take this as far as we can go. Good news, everybody, we can build conveyor belts right into the water. I didn't know that. Oh, fiddlesticks, we've run out of material. Okay, I ran all nine million miles home. Let's suit back up, run some power lines, get that oil extracted, and then let's never go back there ever again. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. When you build your power lines in the water, we wanna make sure as much wildlife as possible gets close to touching these things. <laughs> Things. All right, step one's <laughs> complete. We managed to run a power line all the way through to, uh-oh, it's already going. Yep, look, here they go, right underwater. I guess that makes sense. NBD. And wouldn't you know, we're almost back home. I can tell because I can see the frame rate, right? The tornado and my frame rate's dying. <laughs> you know, I know the perfect place. Dude, this is, I love these videos, man. This is just such a good time. To have this oil go to. Oh, I think God. it probably behooves us to have the oil closer and closer to home base. Easy. Don't look directly at it. All right, I found a good place for my oil refinery. Ta-da! No, not the tornado, silly. In the tornado. That's right, delicately wrapped in eight million zillion jillion tons of conveyor belts is our oil refinery. So first we, uh, God, the frame rates. All right, so it couldn't be simpler. Oil goes in there. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 how far am I falling? Okay, okay, still alive. You know, I, I've been playing a lot of Meet Your Maker. I kind of want to put my replays on here a little bit because I have some, so I'll fuck you up replays. I, it's just something random that I just thought of. Such a nightmare trying to work in here. Okay, let's configure the oil refinery. What's going on with- Oh god, I didn't realize that you have to tell it to do three specific types of things. Okay, it's settled. We're building three oil refineries in here because I never want to come in here again. You know, I'm glad we managed to get all three factories in there, but it looks a little, uh, unkempt. But don't worry, I think I know how to fix this. Okay, so I think I've fixed the problem. I'm just trying to get a good vantage point so I can show it off all proper-like. I present to you the conveyor belt cocoon. <laughs> I didn't think it would get more beautiful, but it did. There are three oil refineries in there just waiting to do some processing. Hey, can you imagine the game running worse than it did before? Because guess what? It does. Like, a lot worse. When I first fired this game up, it was like a beautiful 60 frames a second. And now it's like I'm in a constant state of having an aneurysm. So that's not all. I actually haven't flipped this. Dude, this man has a way with So not only is he, like, talented. He's a talented individual. He knows how to make videos. Uh, he's got great ideas, he's also chaotic, and he's very patient, but he's also a good writer. Like, this dude, this is a solid content creator here. Switch yet. Pretty busy inside this cocoon. We have lots of materials going in and out here, but we have one last thing we need to bridge if I can get up to it. Because if the frame rate wasn't tanking hard enough, what I'm about to do will probably just make it worse. Right now I'm scaling the first half of the cocoon. See that little opening right there? That's what I'm gonna bridge. Here's a nice view of the inside here. Running at a very spectacular less than one frame per second. So we're just...
You can see the things on the side. It's gonna close this gap right here. Here we go. Now the oil is going freely. It's gonna go all the way around. Did the barrels make it? Because I can't see them, but that doesn't mean they aren't there. <laughs> Once the materials finally all come out of here, which is rubber, I think gasoline, and plastic, the non-biodegradable kind, I send all the conveyor belts right into the space elevator just to show it who's boss. While the cocoon does its thing, I need to get as far away from it as possible. I would have definitely put like a storage thing before it just in case, because knowing this guy, like I'm sure they're just sitting there for a while. It would just give me peace of mind knowing that they're at least going to storage afterwards, once it's filled up. We need to unlock all three of these, and since the recipes are all the same, all we really need to do is focus on making these fun things here. Heavy modular frames aren't too hard. We pretty much have all the parts we need. One thing we do need to make a machine for is encased industrial beams. I can't believe... Oh, I'm like, he, he has to have more screws. I'm like, this dude's gotta be loaded right now. Should be pretty easy to design a machine that makes those for us. Computers are gonna be the more complicated one. Cable, plastic, and screws are pretty easy to come by, but we're also gonna have to make circuit boards. And circuit boards require plastic and wire. All of this, not really all that hard. We just need to make the machines to do it. And I yeah, it's, it's just about like putting them in a good spot and organizing them. But like, if this is how you play, you don't really, you just need a, the output somewhere that you know it's gonna go to. Otherwise, like... I'm I'm kind of motivated to do a, a world like this. I think I might know just the place to settle this stuff up. It's nice and far away from the cocoon, but blissfully close to the weave. I guess so long as my frame rate isn't safe anywhere. You have to pick your poison. We're in good shape. God, the barrels of crude oil and all that coal coming in really brings out the natural beauty of the landscape. I never thought I'd be happy to see the weave. I'm just like, oh man, look at all these frames I've got now. Actually, no, it's still really bad here. All right, so let me show you a little bit of what I did here. I've got my coal being mined here, goes into this splitter here goes into one coal generator here this coal gets a nice beautiful scenic view of the weave before going into this splitter and going into another coal generator that we needed meanwhile this big pile of coal goes on a magical wild ride the coal eventually goes into this foundry this guy over here is mining iron ore which is also being fed into the foundry where it's making steel ingots steel ingots pop out and head over into this machine where it's making steel beams some of the steel ingots also go a different direction and head over to this constructor that's making steel pipe I also set up a guy here that's mining limestone which turns into concrete which gets fed into this assembler along with the pipes to make an alternate recipe I have to make encased steel beams right. at which point my beautiful encased steel beams pop out of this machine and collects them in this storage unit that I'm standing on top of to make our heavy modular frame <laughs> that's like the key gameplay of this game is just like I put this thing into this thing to make this thing and then this thing now makes this thing I put this thing to do over here to get this thing to get this thing to put into this thing and uh that's that's why we play the game. Is we're gonna shove everything into this device called the Manufacturer. A big, beautiful, hulking beast. That, that, that's where I stopped. I stopped at the Manufacturer. That thing is so intimidating to me. Which we're gonna place way out of the way for no reason. First one to connect is gonna be the modular frames. Next we have our steel pipe and our industrial beams here. And last but not least, screws. Now that I've got everything plugged into the Manufacturer here, let's configure it to make the heavy modular frames. While this madness is going on, let's go ahead and set up our thing to make the computers. If this is where that factory is right there, we're gonna build it way the hell out here. On this mysterious little mesa here, which which is clearly poisonous. This is probably their defense mechanism, so we don't bother them, which means we're gonna bother them as much as we possibly can with a giant hulking machine. I don't care if you hurt me, this thing is gonna be built right here. All right, flee before we die. I don't care that I died. The factory will live on. It's actually probably better this way so we can build some stuff from over here. And just a reminder, the way we have to build these computers. I'm surprised he didn't just, because like, does he have the, um... It's like a crow's nest kind of thing, right? Where you can go on the stairs, you go all the way up, and then you can build them up. Why don't you just do that? Why do you have to go into the poison? Computers is to combine these four things down below. So that's circuit boards, cable, plastic, and screws. All the building blocks to make a sick rig. Before we can just feed all of that into this machine over here, we're going to have to build some other factories so that we can. After all, those circuit boards aren't just going to make themselves. Circuit boards are just wire and plastic. They technically are. Uh, something kind of easy. Imagine my joy. Oh, it's more of you guys. Well, I know where I'm going to build my next factory we just need to grab some plastic from the land of the slideshow over here and then we'll send that plastic <laughs> the land, it's like it just catches me off guard because it's like it it is a slideshow you get you get one frame it's a, it's almost as fast as like an old person putting down a frame picking up a frame and then showing you the next frame and then putting it down there's your next gameplay there's your next gameplay i would actually enjoy that take right over here into the poison it, in real life not the actual frame right but like 
playing a game through an old person holding up a key card. Then, you know, the first screwed up factory I made was wire. So we're going to go back to the source and pull some wire from over there. And also seeing how nothing is moving, I'm pretty sure everything's jammed up, which means there's probably some wire to spare. Wait, can I put the assembler up here? I mean, I don't see why not, right? There we go. Perfect. Can I put the power pole like right on top of the alien life form? And the answer is yes. We now have our three conveyor belts showing plastic cabling and what I assume are some sweet video cards. We just need to run these things all the way over to where that one thing was. Since you're giving me so much sass nature, how about a little conveyor belt spaghetti for you to look at? You know, I'm thinking about changing my signature to this. Just nothing but loops until I'm politely asked to stop signing my name. Oh. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you just fill in the signature? <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Look, there it comes now. My first computer covered in toxic. That's, I never thought about that. Yes. Oh now we God. just need 150 of these things. We can unlock the rest of those tiers. That won't take a million years. So while that thing is making the rest of the computers, let's go back to home base and unlock some. Oh God, I looked at it. You know, it is really pretty. Although the fact that the top is kind of a red color from all the barrels going through it makes it look kind of like a warhead. I think obviously we're gonna have to start with the jet pack. Three, two, one, launch. All right, I assume I have to build this jet pack. Yep, there it is. Well, this is surprisingly easy to build. The only component I don't have on myself right now is rubber. Something tells me, too, we're going to be using this fuel, so we'll pick up some of that, too. Just right. got to smack this thing 30 whole times. Good intuition. Times. Get it on my person ASAP. Do I just hold down the button? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I just hold down the button, and uh, how does it recharge? How does it? Oh, boy. Well, I'm sure we all saw that coming. Oh, this is all too much. All right, that's going to be all for now. Oh. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun. I know I did, and I'll see you next time. God, every video this week, I just did not want to stop watching. God, that was fantastic. Well, we're here for the next episode next week? Or the week after? We wanted to. I don't know, it depends. Let me know in the, let me know in the comments below. Are you enjoying the series? Uh, I, 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 it's hard for me to, like, have a consistent schedule with some of these because I like jumping around to a lot of different reaction stuff, but, like, at some point, I'll be able to get an editor, and then I could maybe do two or three videos a day, and then we could really get some progress going, but we'll, we'll see. I, I, these, are, these are so much fun. They're fantastic. I, I enjoy them. God. I'm ready for more. I hope you enjoy the series as much as I do because this is a great time. Otherwise, subscribe to Mattables for more reaction content.